Hi everyone and welcome to this series of videos where we're drawing exciting animal characters. Today we're heading to a party with this fancy dressed goose. So grab your pencils and let's get drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the construction lines. So first we'll draw a circle for the head and then we'll create a nice wavy line. Now this is uh, an indication of the spine, it's also what we call a gesture line. And then we're going to add an oval in here for the body. Now we want to be drawing nice and light because as you can see we're being a bit messy with the lines and we're not worrying too much about being perfect so draw nice and light if you can and then when we get to drawing the final images we can always draw over it again. Now I'm just adding in a couple of circles here just to indicate where the shoulders and the hips of our character are so I know where to add the wings and the legs. So for the wing shape, we'll come out of this shoulder, shoulder indicator, and we're just going to draw sort of a, a shape like this. So we're just gonna draw three lines that are connecting and then we're gonna curve it back like this. And this is gonna be the guide for our wing shape. And on the other side, we'll do the same. So we'll draw three lines, and then a curved shape coming back down. Now, because we're heading to a party with this particular goose, we're going to draw our goose in a bit of a dancing pose. So obviously wings up and maybe the, the feet are, are dancing, we're kicking around, he's having a, our duck's having a, our goose, not a duck, a goose, our goose is having a lot of fun. And then we're going to come up to the top. Now I've just drawn a little bit of a cross here on the face and that's giving me an idea of where I'm going to put my eye and then where I'm going to put my beak. It's just a bit of an indication line. All right, so that is our basic structure of our dancing goose. But obviously we want to add in a little bit of extra details. So as I'm going through this, I'll be erasing some of my lines so that it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. But you do not have to erase your lines at all. You can leave them as they are. As I said, you might want to draw a good copy drawing over the top or just leave this as a bit of a creative space. So what I'm doing, I'm just adding in a couple little feathers here just at the end. They're almost like, imagine that that's almost the thumb of the wing. And I'm just adding in this top layer of the wings. So wings can be a little complicated to draw, but they're normally built in a couple of stages. So we're going to simplify this for the purpose of drawing, but we're going to just separate it into the two areas. So in this section down the bottom, I'm just going to draw some wing shapes in. Now you can be as specific as you like, so you can draw you know, you can draw your feather like this, or you can draw, do what I'm doing, which is just kind of indicating the shape. You could do it round as well if you want and have nice round ones, or you could even just draw your line like this. It's entirely up to you, but we're just going to go all the way down the wing because this would be all the flight feathers. And then up here, I'm just going to do, follow that line and just add in a few little indicators of smaller feathers. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. So we'll just go all the way down now you can pause this and take as long as you want. I'm just going to be nice and quick so that we can keep going. But if you need to take a bit more time here, then you can just stop the video and take as much time as you need. So that's our wings drawn. 
So now I'm going to come and focus on the neck area. Now at the moment we've just got the line, which is not quite enough. So we're going to come from the back of the head and we're going to join it to just where that shoulder section meets the wing. And then we're going to come to the other shoulder and we're going to come up to the bottom section of the circle. So as I said, I'm just going to erase these lines a little bit so you can see what I've done. So we're going to connect our head like that. Now I'm quite a fan of adding in some extra, extra details. So I'm thinking I'm going to add in some of the small details of the feathers just up the neck and onto the body just here. Just so we're adding a little bit of extra, extra detail. So let's come back up to the head and we're going to give a bit more definition to the beak. Now we've got this nice shape, but I'm just going to add in a bit more shape to the beak. So we're going to curve it off at the end and then we're going to flatten it at the very top here, this top bit of the beak. And then we're going to create this little bit of a ridge just here, which is um, quite, uh, quite common in geese. And then we'll just put the breathing hole, the part of the nose, just there. And then we'll just round off that beak as well. And then maybe if you want, we can add in a few extra feathers here on the face. And maybe we can put a bit of an expression on the goose's eyes. Now remember, you can make the eye bigger if you want um, to give it a bit more expression. We could, we could put in an eyebrow, doing lots of different things. Um, I think I like that one better. We'll have an eyebrow. Our goose is having quite a bit of fun. And then we'll come down to the feet. Now we're just going to add in, just, just to find this shape a little bit more, which is kind of where the top of his leg is. And then just going to add in a bit of extra shape on the leg, almost like it's a, a curvy tapering triangle. And for the feet, we've already got this triangle shape, which is lovely. So all we're going to do is we're going to add some lines in for the toes and we're going to make the webbing in between curves. Let me just redraw that so you can see what I'm doing. So we'll have the three toes and then some curved webbing in between. And then we'll do the same for this leg. So we'll add in a bit of extra definition for that top bit of the leg, have our curvy bit of our triangle and now you don't have to erase your triangle. I've just done that so it's easy for you to see how I'm drawing the webbing and the toes. So that's pretty fun. And oh, how did I forget? We forgot the tail. I forgot the tail. So we better add the tail in. So we're just going to add in some extra tail feathers. So that is basically our goose. But obviously this goose is going to a fancy dress party. So now is a chance for us to dress our goose up. Now this is very exciting and you can do whatever you want. There's no limits for the ideas you can come up with. But I think what I might do for this one is I actually might dress my goose up as um, the cat in the hat from Dr. Zeus. So I'm just going to draw in the under section of my hat here. So we want to create the brim of the hat. So just like that. And then we're going to have this long tall section here and stripes going up it like that. And then we'll have the big gigantic bow tie. So I'm just going to draw a bit of a curved section around the neck so I know where it sits. And I'm going to draw a circle here for the middle. So that's where my bow is going to go. And then I'm going to create this gigantic kind of bow. 
it's going to kind of sit over and above all these details. So you don't have to do this. You can do whatever you want. And if you really want to get it, get creative, you could do a whole cast of different geese dressed up in different ways. So you could have a goose dressed up as a witch or a pumpkin or maybe a clown or whatever you want. There are so many different ideas. So just think about what you guys like to dress up as when you get to dress up for Halloween or book week or anything that you get a chance to dress up for and try and draw your goose dressed up like that. So I can't wait to see what you all come up with. So have fun and get drawing. Mm -hmm.